Hey guys, today's video is one of them things that makes sense in your brain and then I've come to sit and record it and thought it might be a bit weird but I decided it's no different than what other people do but I'm just not in a bath. <laughs> today's video I'm going to be showing you my everyday bath slash shower routine products but not in the YouTuber way of doing it where I'm in a bikini and in the bath because I think it's a little bit weird. So I have an array of products in front of me and I'm just going to show you and talk you through what products I use every single time I have a bath or a shower and then a few that I'll use you know if I'm feeling a little bit fancy and just want to have a really nice like pamper session and then so there's like two things that I use every now and again but it is part of my bath and shower routine. So we'll start with like everyday stuff. I don't actually wash my hair every day because it's just too much effort is the answer to that. It's not because it's like you're not supposed to wash your hair every day. It's, it's too much damn effort. So I tend to wash my hair since it's been shorter every other day. But when it was longer, I could go like four or five. I know it's gross, four or five days without washing my hair. Now it's like every other day, maybe every three days or two, yeah, every three days if I can. And at the moment, I've been using these amazing things. These are the Tony and Guy, um, where does it say? Shampoo and conditioner for dry hair. I bought these back in South Africa because currency exchange, hello, super cheap. And obviously I bought these when I had long hair and I still had the bleach at the bottom, which is why I got these. However, now that my hair is actually healthier, these have been working a lot better. I really, really like them. They are more on the expensive side, probably not to some people, but for me, I'm very much a cheap body and shampoo and stuff. I'm just cheap everything, you know. But these are really, really good. I used to use these a lot when I was blonde. You've never seen me blonde. I used to be completely blonde. These were like my go-to shampoo and conditioners. They are really good for smoothing over split ends, making your hair super soft and shiny, and they smell really good as well. So shampoo and conditioner. I don't always use the conditioner, weirdly enough. Since I've had shorter hair, I found sometimes conditioner can make my hair quite oily. So sometimes I just condition, I, sometimes I just shampoo, and then we'll use like a leave-in conditioner afterwards. It's really not that much. I don't really use like lots of uh, any fancy things in the bath. For body wash, I tend to just use what I can grab. I have an abundance of body washes that I'm trying to work through because I'll buy them because they smell nice. And I'm like, I'm bored of that one. I'll use another one. So I have a whole box full of like half used body washes. So I'm trying really hard to just go through one. And at the moment I am using the Lynx for her Africa. I got this for Christmas. It smells good. Oh my God, my nose didn't even like sniff. Definitely getting ill. It smells good. It just smells like Lynx and I love the smell of Lynx. I quite often use the Steel Chris's Lynx. This is almost empty. Not quite. Almost. I don't use anything fancy. Although, if I am having a fancy bath, which is really weird, but this is my like fancy body wash that I use. This is the Soap and Glory Whipped Clean Shower Butter. This stuff is amazing. I only use it once in a while, maybe if my skin's getting a bit dry or mainly if I just feel like relaxing. This, ah, oh, no, it dripped water all over me. That's because I had it in the shower yesterday. This feels like, <laughs> it's gonna get everywhere. This, oh no, it really is dripping. This smells incredible. It smells, what's it got in it? Almond, almond, it smells like almonds. I couldn't think what the scent was. This feels like you're putting moisturiser on it in the shower. I am soaking wet, I'm gonna have to put it down. It feels like you're putting moisturiser on the shower. It's so soft and smooth and it, oh, it's, it's, it's my fancy body wash. Mm. Also use the Soap and Glory Sugar Crush Body Scrub. This isn't an every time I have a bath or shower. This is a once in a while, maybe once a week. Because I find if I over scrub, then I get dry skin and it hurts. So this is only a once in a while. This, I think this is just the original one. What is it? Brown sugar, sweet lime and almond. It's just the original one. This is really good. I really like it. It's very thick. 
it has, I can't close it, it's very thick, it has lots of exfoliants in it, it is really good. It is really good for dry skin, however, if you don't have dry skin, I find this creates dry skin and ingrowing hairs as well. And I know that body scrubs are supposed to prevent that, but I found when I was using this every single time I had a bath, it was creating a lot more ingrowing hairs than if I wasn't using it. Speaking of ingrowing hairs, I also have my razor. This is a little tiny mini one that really I need to buy a new head for. I got this to go away for in South Africa and it is the Venus Snap, I think it's called. It's just a tiny, tiny little razor. It's, it's just that. I need to get a new head for it. It's a bit manky now and probably not as sharp as it should be, but I really like it because it's small. I have a thing about clutter. Clutter really stresses me out in the bathroom. So I like that it can just sit like this. So I use that every, well, if you want more details that you probably don't really want to know, don't use it every time I have a bath or a shower. Only if people are going to see my legs. Yay! There are two more products that I need to talk about and they are both hair related. Now these are ones that I use probably about once a month. And the first one is the Tony and Guy Reconstruction Mask. This is literally just a hair mask, but the reason I only use it once a month is it is a very rich hair mask. And I don't really have that much hair now, so it tends to make my hair overly soft. But girls out there will know what I mean when it is really soft, but you know tomorrow it's going to be greasy because it's so full of all these nourishing oils that it's actually just going to be greasy again the next day. So I only use this about once a month. If my hair is feeling a bit dry, maybe twice, but usually once. I like how this comes like this in a tub so you really can control how much you're using. Normally I would just put this through the ends of my hair, however I don't really have that many ends. So yeah, it's really good. Tony and Guy shampoo and conditioners and everything is really amazing. Last thing that I've got to talk about is, again, it's something that I use uh, mm, something that I use one, once a month and only ever once a month and that is because it is a clar clar clarifying shampoo. It is a, how do you say it? Clarifying shampoo. Deep cleanses and rejuvenates. This is Kibello. I know, it came in a birch box but I really actually wanted to try one of these. Clarifying shampoos, if you don't know, are to help get rid of any product buildup that you have on your scalp. It's healthy for your hair and also makes your hair grow quicker, better and stronger. I dye my hair a lot. I use quite a lot of products in my hair. So using this to just really give my scalp a good clean is really helping to keep my hair healthy. I don't think my hair has ever looked quite this healthy since I was first allowed to start dyeing it when I was a teenager. You're not supposed to do this too much, too often because it can damage your scalp and damage your hair. And So once a month I'm using this tiny little bottle of shampoo and it is really, really good. I love it. And that is it. That is it for today's video. That is everything that I use daily in the bath or shower. I know this is a bit weird, but think of it as if it was like a normal YouTuber that pretend I was in the bath. No, don't pretend I was in the bath doing it. No. Mm -hmm. It's all good. Thank you for watching. Make sure that you thumbs up and that you subscribe and I will see you next time.